Looks like it's going to be one of those days. Oh, and um, before before you think that's a joke, watch that little circle down there. The pain is real. If Ginger adds any more windmills to this place, Spawn Town's just going to up and fly away. Well, here we are. We're back. Uh, it's actually been like, I think it's day 79. It's legitimately been two weeks since I recorded anything. Uh, last, uh, two weeks ago, from, it's December 5th right now. Uh, two weeks ago, Ginger had family over for Thanksgiving. So, he was a little too busy. I just ran around gathering food and processing stuff. and Got a serious case of morning voice. Uh... Last week, actually, well, most of this week, no energy to do anything. Just, uh, just generally bad week <laughs> in, in life overall. However, that's not to say we haven't been doing stuff. Come here, you. Come here. I'm going to click on there. Not to say we haven't been doing stuff. Uh, Ginger's trying to build enough windmills to get, uh, why are you not running? I'm trying to build enough windmills to power the lasers so we can actually, you know, achieve the, uh... Why are you off? You say you're off. Oh, you're not on solid ground. Uh... Can't really help with that right now. He'll figure that out eventually. The computer lab and the four lasers are basically the last thing you would do on a server before day 30. Like I said, we're day 79. I'd kind of planned to do something on day 75, but that day at work was extremely terrible. And it just wasn't going to happen. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to... Uh, that's what you get for violating the law of gravity, Wiley. You wind up next to the Roadrunner in my stew pot. We have... Like, no real additions to Spawn Town. Like, all I've done is flatten a bunch of crops, cutting stuff down. <clears throat> in the two weeks case, it's like, uh... Averages about four and a half days to a star because of what we're... What we're set at. Which, uh, is at 1.75... So probably, were we still at regular distance, like seven and change, eight days? Which looks like the sort of max is out at a point. So you can eventually, you can eventually get all the fill-in skills. I did take, I took logging, because you need charcoal. You need logging to get charcoal. Uh, you can see those four icons up there. Yeah, when you knock a really, really big job... Oh, I'm going to queue up 300 barrels of gasoline. 300 barrels of oil, I mean. Uh, that's... You can't put enough power, enough coal, into, like, a coal generator to last that long. Uh, I would have to spend some of the products of our refineries to power it. We're using biodiesel... And that's an awful lot of tallow if you want to run it on biodiesel. Uh, until, like, literally, very short time ago. I think we had, like, six turbines. <laughs> and they were all over there trying to run all of that stuff. So over here, what's going on over here? What are you doing? Excuse me. you under arrest for murder. What'd you kill? Oh, you killed bugs. You're a horrible person. So this over here. Hang on. Uh, you know, it's wildlife just doesn't want to leave leave you alone. Oh, yeah. Shot you like twice. There we are. I will shoot you in the butt until you want to die. Like the amount of plastic and epoxy we need for a bunch of stuff. 
kind of dictates that the setup be running constantly. Uh, the issue is that as it runs constantly, <laughs> you constantly have to fuel it, constantly have to bring coal over, or charcoal, for that matter, because at least, like, charcoal stacks to, stacks to 100. I think you get, like, 11 hours worth of work out of it, which is way better than a stack of coal, which if I had a stack of coal earlier, uh, twenty. If I put you in the steam engine, eighteen coal. I think you guys are about the same. Twenty thousand joules. Twenty thousand joules. Yeah. So I can either have uh, times twenty. Four hundred thousand joules of coal, or two million joules of charcoal. I know which one I'm going to take. I know exactly which one I'm going to take. Especially when it's going to take forever to make stuff. So I'll have to come back over here and shuffle a bunch of stuff around. Keep making epoxy and plastic for various things. The, uh, what other... How is there... I haven't cut anything down over here. How is there debris up there? Anyway. What I also did is I finally broke down and I took advanced baking, which is why you can see I got that uh, Elk Wellington <coughs> in my backpack. I think, yeah, I gotta kill some more aminals and get over here. Again, fill in skills. Uh, it's it's not as calorically dense as Bear Supreme. I think Bear Supreme is 2,500 calories. This is just a lot easier to make. It's a lot less, like, absolute pain in the ass to make. That would require... I gotta go through a bit more meat, but then, you know, you just walk out and... Massacre anything you run into for a little while, and then you've got, you know, usually the meat you require. We flattened out a whole bunch of territory. Are you still... It's gotta be the hitbox. It's totally the hitbox. It's not my inability to aim. It's the hitbox. Hitbox and everything's bugged. Flatten out a whole bunch of terrain because I wanted to make a whole bunch of food so I could not have to make food for a while. My amber waves of beets. <laughs> also, I had to. Somewhere on the internet, I actually did take fertilizers. And you can see. So, we're over here. Da -da. If I go back to. None of these help. If I could show you. So, the edge of the borders are out here. That's all stuff that hasn't been. Nothing's done to it. This here was all. Is all fresh. Right, and it's already starting to go down. This stuff here, I sprinkled a whole bunch of fertilizer on. Yep, threw a whole bunch of potassium down there. Turns out wheat doesn't need potassium. Needs a whole lot of nitrogen, needs a whole bunch of phosphorus, uh, corn, and so that's where we're here. <clears throat> nitrogen, so that's corn here, wheat there. I'm trying to figure out the logic behind this. So, so grains want nitrogen. This is all corn, or it was corn before. This whole, like, half of this was corn. So I'm assuming corn and something else wants phosphorus. It's still a grain, so how does that work out? And then beets really want potassium. Wheat doesn't care about it. I think that's the logic involved. I think. But what it certainly did was it gave us an opportunity to flatten out a whole bunch of land, grow a whole bunch of crops. I have I have so much flour uh, that I kind of really I don't even need to harvest this right now. I have so much flour. Like I granted I got most of it just so I could get oil. Got a whole bunch of oil. Decided to start making elk Wellington. Don't really need oil anymore. Shot myself in the foot in that one. 
Why do you not die when I shoot you? There. Thank you. Yeah. So the the still kind of working on how the cooking goes. Uh, I think in my last somewhere around here, somewhere before this a video has aired, there will be a a thing on production chains. I should do a bit more about that because I don't think. I don't think the the effort and that's the word I'm looking for. The collections of skills required for certain tasks does not seem commensurate with the rewards that task provides. If that makes any sense. Like certain things uh oh, I almost hurt you before. Certain bricks take bricks take clay and mortar. It's a very versatile tier two material. Lumber takes uh, hewn logs and nails. Nails require smelting, <laughs> sorry, mining to pro to to process the ore. Smelting to make concentrate into into bars and to make nails. These two do the two do not really seem to be that commiserate in or that similar. Not even that's not even the word I want to use. They don't the the amount of effort required to make both materials doesn't seem to match either the utility or versatility between the two materials. If that helps you. Like you can make a ton of brick. Brick is brick is like t one of the easiest the easiest tier two well, out of all the tier two materials. Like, like it glass and lumber, right? Lumber. Lumber's a tier two material. Tier two So in reality, like in you know, brick, glass Lumber, because you, yes, you can build a tier two building out of copper and, and iron pipe. If you completely abandon all pretense of your building looking good. That being said, I should try it at least once. Brick has two ingredients. Well, three, I guess, if you you include the stuff required to make mortar. Okay, but who cares? Glass is sand. Just sand. Doesn't have a lot of block types. It's just sand. <clears throat> Lumber has multiple block types. Gets used in uh, furniture and doors. And a lot of other stuff. Uh, requires three different skills to make. Entire processing chain. You need a lot of lumber for certain things. Lumber costs so much to make. Seems a little backwards. Like, the amount of lumber you're expected to go through does not... Does, the amount of lumber you have to go through, it seems like you have to do an awful lot of work to get the lumber in the first place. If that helps. And then when you get into higher tier stuff, uh, tier three is uh, reinforced concrete, which on itself is not a very attractive construction material. Neither is corrugated steel, as you can see to the right of the picture. There makes great industrial stuff, and in one playthrough, made a really weird modern house. Difficult to make it look good. It's really difficult to make it look good. And your options are corrugated steel, reinforced concrete, and steel pipe. I know the pipes have to count as a tiered block for the purposes of not having a hole in your building when you run it. a chimney out. No one's building a house out of steel pipe. That being said, I should creative try it someday. 
but then you get the tier four uh, Ashlar stone, so regular stone and steel, steel requiring its entire production chain. Composite lumber. Give me a minute to talk about that one. Framed glass, glass and steel. So that's glass making, uh, advanced smelting, smelting, mining. And framed glass. Yeah, like flat steel is... I think I mixed those two up. Framed glass is glass making. The flat steel is steel and epoxy. And epoxy is oil refining. Out of all of these... Out of all of these, this composite lumber, on what I will add, the table is beautiful. Absolute, absolute win on the construction of the table. The table is a beautiful piece of 3D artwork. Composite lumber. Oil refining. That's just hacking trees down. Uh, carpentry. Smelting. Uh, mining. So we're at four... Technically four skills. Five to make composite lumber. That's not taking into account the fact that you needed... I think machining and industry to make pump jack the oil refinery and the way to power it. So to make composite lumber, we're looking at eight skills. Eight. When I get a chance, I'll draw this out in a, in a creative video. Composite lumber looks nice. Got a lot of neat stuff. I cannot say. Oh, no, that's that's a that's a pump. Give me here, composite oak lumber. This saguaro, <clears throat> sorry, sagaro, just to piss ginger off, is got a little bit of a slight green tinge. I'm not a fan of. So just just for this composite oak lumber. Okay, to place that. Just to get to this point with. An absolutely fantabulous amount of block types, I will say. There's an awful lot of block types there. Just to get here uh, requires such an immensely long production chain and the amount you sink into books. And then you need to make this to make, I think it's a computer lab. Where are we here? Words, words, yes, I know it's. Shock crusher lab, or nope, laboratory is the other thing. Tin turbine, it's, where is it made? It's electronics assembly, right? Computer lab, composite lumber. You need the lab and four lasers to win the game. Skill. Uh, oil, oil refining, uh, industry machining. A whole bunch of other stuff, and then that. Like, in order to win the game, you have to make a bunch of this stuff. Uh, not doable with two people. And now I think about it, I'm not entirely sure it's doable with four. Like, I, I would love to track down a couple of people for the next update and, and hit this with four people and see if we can rush it to 30 days. But you're talking, like, four people who are willing to devote... Oh, my God. Oh, six hours a night? Five to six hours a night? A few more on the weekends? I know it can be done with the bigger communities. I'm not entirely sure it can be done with the smaller one. 
but there's at least one more big update coming. They changed a few things. Da da da. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna build the lasers. We're gonna. I don't know if last time I tried to spawn the la the meteor in with the lasers, they completely failed me, and the world got humped over. Maybe we'll mess around and see if we can actually build it so it shoots it down. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, I will see you in the future if we can manage to do it. <laughs> actually, I'll see you in the future anyway. Later.